Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you a little cup battle, but it's a rather bittersweet little cup battle because it is the last little cup battle I'm having with this team. I'm retiring this little cup team. Uh, my opponent is Lebron Dwayne 63 who now goes by the screen name Musum9. Uh, and yeah, this team, this team was really my least favorite of my two little cup teams. And so when I retired the other one, you, most people probably could figure out that I was going to retire this one too, but it was it was time. Uh, and I've got a new Little Cup team, uh, actually all done, and we'll see if I can ever publish it, but uh, when I publish it, it's very, very different than the Little Cup teams I had before. Anyway, the battle starts off really well. I just go for the Water Spout with my Scarfed a Whale Lord. I'm really glad he didn't send in his Leap. That would have actually been kind of an obvious move, but I don't know. Anyway, he goes into Diglett here. I'm not sure why. I decide uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another water spout. Here he decides, oh yeah, hey, I do have this little leap. Maybe I'll just go, get, go ahead and get the storm drain. So yeah, he goes ahead and gets the storm drain. The leap is a great Pokemon in sand. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and withdraw Starbuck back. Go out into IBM, my shiny Ponyard. I love this thing to death. Uh, and it's, I think I gave it Eviolate instead of Life Orb. No, I, I can't remember. That much damage it must still be uh, Life Orb, but... People tell you you'll run if I like, but I just love the power that I get from it. And you're actually going to see, so I go for Iron Head here against Sam True. Look at how much damage that did, yeah, so I'm still uh, Iron Head. I go for Sucker Punch, he actually goes for a Swords Dance here, but, uh, you know, Sucker Punch and um, Iron Head do the same amount of damage. Got him below 50% with Iron Head, so I knew the Sucker Punch would take him out. And Sam True, uh, probably running Sand Rush, could have been a huge threat, take it out easily. That is kind of amazing for a Ponyard. So I'm pretty happy. I go for another Sucker Punch here against Zabra. I figure it's probably Sash. Indeed it is Sash. But I, I get it down to 1 HP, so that's good for me. Uh, and now he's going to go ahead and go for Hidden Power. Almost certainly Hidden Power fighting. And I'm going to lose my Ponyard. But it did a really great job. Goodbye, IBM. Uh, to this computer repair shop with you. I go out into Emily here. Uh, he's actually faster. That's okay, I guess. It gets me down to 8 HP. I go ahead and go for my Flying Jump Boosted Acrobatics. It's going to double my speed, and I'm now going to be faster, probably even than his uh, Drill Burr. I'm not 100% sure about that, though. He's going to go ahead and diggle it here, and uh, you know, I'm fearing the Sucker Punch, and so I'm going to go ahead and switch out and waste my Flying Jump Unburdened Boost. Really lame. I go out now into Edgar Rice. Uh, his Sucker Punch fails. And Edgar Rice is my Sand True. It actually is not running uh, Sand Rush, it's actually running Sand Veil. I thought Sand Veil was illegal in Little Cup, and so I was like, oh god, I'm so sorry. If it hacks, we will, you know, redo something. I'll, like, let you hit me or something. Uh, but it never actually came into play. So I get, go ahead and knock off his Eviolite here. He goes for the Giga Drain, but I'm thinking that little Sand True can take it. And it actually does survive with 6 HP. That is extremely impressive, little Edgar Rice. I'm very proud of you. Gonna go ahead and go for an Earthquake. Just get some damage, uh, and so I'll be able to get in a free switch. So Edgar Rice did a great job here, and even though I basically just sacked it. Um, I love that little sand tree. It's so cute! Go out now into Blake, my uh, Growlithe, which has been completely worthless on this team. It's never really done anything, and I'm like, hey, I got a KO with a critical hit on a super effective move when he doesn't even have Eviolate, so yay, Blake got a kill. It's really unfortunate. It just has not not been doing well. But anyway, at this point I'm thinking, okay, this is actually a good game. I've won. All I have to do is sack Blake, and then I send out Lilu, my own... Uh, my own Lilip, and I can take an Earthquake, and then I hit him with Giga Drain, and that's game over. But look what I- why did I do this? Why? Why? Uh, I can't take two Earthquakes, and so I just completely ruined my Lilip. I'm gonna have to fodder a whole bunch of stuff, and unless that was max damage, his Drillbur's gonna be able to take out my Lilip, and I don't know what I'm gonna use to take out this Drillbur. So I've just turned an easy victory into a complete loss, thanks to complete stupidity. So, Growlithe, you, it's good that you got a KO, but you know what? You ruin everything. Yeah, of course he's going to outspeed uh, even my Scarfed Whalmer because of Sandvale. So now I'm just hoping, uh, not Sandvale, I'm sorry, Sand Rush. And then, oh, please have a big min damage, and, uh, and this doesn't work out. The Lil Lilu goes down. I go out into Growlithe. Yeah, great. What am I going to do now? His Rock Slide, he uses Rock Slide. I have no idea why it misses. 
I actually managed to go for the Flare Blitz. I think I get the KO here. I do. So Growlin, you know, you're making up for the fact that you're worthless but you're, by getting a second KO, but this is just so stupid. Now he's in the Diglett. What can I do against Diglett? Uh, he's gonna go, f he's faster for sure, he's gonna go for the Earthquake, he's not gonna dick around, and that is going to be a dead Growlithe, and that is going to be a lost game that should have been won due to a stupid, stupid misplay. Growlithe, you ruin everything. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this very last Little Cup battle with this team. Stay tuned for my farewell tribute.